But yeah, you'd be able to select when you're going into melee and when... Uh, well, no, just when you're going into melee. So you'd stay brute for the most part and you'd range down enemies because of course you would. Let me just get some wood for this poor fellow. You'd stay ranged. Wait. You know, like, usually, like nine times out of ten, range the enemies down. And then the tough, uh, tough creatures that wouldn't be able to uh, range down like a stone golem or an abomination. You have enough time, because of how slow they are, to switch to your really good melee setup. All the way, just switch up, and then you'd be able to deal with it from there. Of course, there'd be unique situations like Swamp Crips, where you just want this weird combo. Because of the poison situation in there but most of the time you'd be able to have enough time provided good scouting and like crouching and things to switch from a like even with the deskito circling you'd have enough time to switch from your your range to melee setup not like you would really need it for deskitos with the root harness but you'd have enough time so I've been practicing that out, seeing how that goes. You know, you only get 2% additional move speed for the additional, like, legging swap animation time, which does indeed slow you down from entering melee, but then again, it's like, I don't know whether that's worth it or not, and that's what I'm testing out. It's like, hmm... Test, 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 you know? Needs to be done. I definitely want it. Like, it's... Okay. I'll stop beating around the bush and get to, like, the armor deep dive. It's like... The reason... Why I have this stuff, it's like, okay. Here's the old style of armor. You'd have like current helmet plus all your troll shit, and then you're super fast, but you have some decent defenses. Uh, let's go into melee now. Yeah, and you'd be able to debilitate before they strike. Uh, either with like Frostner or At Gear, most likely for most of the game, Crystal Battle X, or just Parry, also through most of the game. Uh, proactive or reactive debilitations, and then you just decimate them, and then uh, weird enemies that you need to close down quickly, you can close down quickly because you have good movement speed, and you can just totally eliminate the threat without having too much risk of getting hit, but even if you got hit, like, there's still the food system, food regen, there's still potions, and you still have some armor, so it's, it, it works out. And then you just take that and upgrade the helmet, get better cape, once you get the tool shelf or whatever it is. Yeah, tool shelf, just upgrade everything up to max from the workbench. But the rude armor through a wrench, the best type of wrench. I don't know, like a wrench made of chocolate or some shit. Threw a chocolate wrench into that setup. Because now things are a little more interesting, you know? 
It's more interesting than just like, well, I get the big numbers, but I'm also fast, right? Now, it's, well, I've got additional features that I have to think about, and mm -hmm, I put some real thought into that. So, Harnesk, I think this is the only no-brainer move. You wear the harness at all times, fully uh, as upgraded as you can. It's just considering that uh, the troll tunic was the main thing. It's like, okay, well, here's a more defensive version of that that gives you pierce resistance. It's also part of the root set, which I mean, I'll explain the bonus later, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Like, okay. Now I can ignore, basically, mosquitoes and, uh... All sorts of archers and shit. And just close down on other... Enemies, like one stars, or this, that, and the other thing. So, okay, yeah. No problem. Like, I'll do that any day, you know? Super easy, you know? I'll take that every day, like, oh my god, the easiest decision that you can make is wearing the root Arnesk all the time. It, I mean, if somebody in the Valheim Discord server even was like, yeah, I wore full root set and I took down Yaglin. It wasn't that bad. I was like, what the fuck? I would never even attempt to do that, but here that guy is. No problem. Shit's ridiculous, so yeah. It's, the drawbacks of the root armor, it's like, okay. Only a tiny thing. Only a tiny debuff. Plus, you get that huge buff. A decent armor buff from the troll tunic. Honestly, the debuff of the move speed going from uh, minus zero to minus two is, is like nothing. You know, on this character, I'm Swamp Tier, I've run 64, it's nothing. Nothing. Root Leggings, again, that's pretty much like nothing either, even though it, you know, it doesn't do anything other than being part of the root set, which is still crazy. Uh, <laughs> again, in Melee, I'm testing out, switching over to Troll Pants, just... Just for the speed, I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it yet. Eventually, when you hit bows 100, I, I won't even wear the root leggings. I'll just have the troll of the pants. Might as well. But yeah, that's not going to be anytime soon, you know. Still, I mean, not bad, but 37. Root helm, poison res. Uh, like you mentioned, it's like... Shit. Poison res, super good in the swamp. Super good versus growths. Like, so nice. It's just so, so nice. It's not as resistant as... Poison mead. Which will override it. It's very resistant versus just resistant. But resistant gets the job done. It definitely, definitely gets the job done. You know, it's, you're only taking a couple of damage per tick versus like point something damage per tick, but still, it's like 99% of cases and 100% of the cases if you have good food and you're keeping an eye on your health. Root Mask will eliminate the need for Poison Res. I'm only carrying Poison Res on me because I'm testing out switching to like helmet and things for melee even in the swamps again I'm still testing that out but yeah helmet at the very least switching from helmet to helmet for melee and ranged is still going to be like pretty spicy because then it's like most of the time except for grows and swamp creatures like, okay. Now I have free defense. 
why not you know <laughs> why not literally no drawback sure I don't know if I need to really talk about the full set benefits but plus 15 effective bows skills is insane the relative draw speed is insane the increased leveling speed because you have an increased draw speed is insane usually I'd have bows 30 by the end game I have bows 37 with effective bows 52 that's higher than my melee weapons it was never higher than my melee weapon prior to Arth pr prior to the root armor just it's insane it's absolutely crazy bows are popping off 